Well, top of the morning to you. Welcome to Our Daily Timothy Time. My name is Carl, and uh, it's a joy to be with you. Today's date, Tuesday, the 23rd of February 2021, and this is episode 212. Today we're going to go right back to Romans chapter 1, verse 1. And if you've been following, you would know that we've, uh, we've, we've been on this verse for a, a, number of, uh, a number of days, and we've unpacked it. I hope and I trust that it's been of help to you to re just realize who the Apostle Paul is to us, to you and I as members of the church, the body of Christ today. In this verse, uh, Romans 1 verse 1, Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, separated unto the gospel of God. We've, we've got as far down as to separation. Paul was separated unto the gospel of God. And I just want to spend a few moments just looking at the at Paul's separation. Um, you know, if if we want to know about Paul's separation, you know, uh, let's let Paul tell us a little bit about it. And I want to take you over to Galatians chapter 1 and uh, verse 15, 16. Paul writes here, But when it pleased God, who separated me from my mother's womb and called me by his grace, to reveal his son in me that I might preach among the heathen, immediately I conferred not with flesh and blood. You see where it says there, who separated me from my mother's womb. Okay, now the obvious Paul was born, that's the obvious. But uh, when he, when it says there from his mother's womb, that means he was separated from, from the nation Israel. Okay, another verse you can go to to uh, compare verse with verse. If you went to Ch Galatians 4.26, you can see the connection and um, and it's it's quite obvious. The second uh, um, thing I want to bring up about Paul's separation, if we go back to the book of Acts chapter 13, we see that Paul, as well as Barnabas in, 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 the, in the actual passage, they were separated unto the work. Okay, now I'm going to quickly read that to you so you, so you, can, so you can hear it. It's uh, uh, thir Acts 13 verse 2. Paul, uh, well, Luke, right, Dr. Luke writes this. He says, As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, Separate me Barnabas and Saul for the work whereunto I have called them. So you can see Paul is separated. Okay. That's quite important to see. Now, if you study out Romans chapter 1, and in particular uh, uh, verses chapter 1, verse 1, 2, 3, up to 5, we can, we can look and see that. We can see Paul, Paul had a, a, a unique thing going on. When I do a summary of this verse and, and close it all off, hopefully in the in the next one or two times we meet over this verse, um, I'll mention some things in closing about uh, Paul's apostleship, like an overall general picture. But uh, that's not my purpose and intent for today. What I want you to see today is Paul is separated. Okay, he's separated from the nation Israel, and he's separated uh, 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 from a group of people to go out for the Lord. Okay. That's very, very important for us to pick up. And it also says in that verse, Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, separated unto the gospel of God. Now, the next time we meet, we're going to have a look at the gospel of God. That's a, that, that's a wonderful uh, um, phrase to understand. Because if you knew to write the vision, and if you, if you knew to reading a King James Bible, you know, a lot of people have come out of the modern versions into a King James and and sometimes the wording can be a little bit a little bit difficult. Okay, so there are a number of gospels mentioned in Paul's writings, and you might be oh, Paul saying the gospel of God there, then he says the gospel of Christ there. How does it all marry up? We'll have a look at that. Okay, um, right today, I think that's I'm gonna, I'm going to leave it there for today, just to not complicate things. So uh, in closing, Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ called to be an apostle separated unto the gospel of god this is a beautiful book we, we're dealing with romans this is the basic foundational book for any of us believers today it's a book that uh, it's the first port of call when you get saved and remember you can only be saved by paul's my gospel paul is the in his romans to philemon those 13 books, inside there, if you mine it out, in, in fact, I'll give you the verse, 1 Corinthians 15, 3 and 4, that is the gospel. If you want to know all a bit more about the gospel, you read Romans chapters 1 through to 5. It's all there for us. Time's up for today, folks. It's been great to be with you. Tomorrow we'll catch up with our, our, um, our reading Daniel, and um, I trust you're enjoying that too. 
And lastly, if um, there's a in in the in the description below, there's there's a PayPal link. If you've been tracking with this ministry and you've and you've and you've um, you've you've wanted to to um, if I can use the word so into this ministry, now you have an option. Isn't that fantastic? So it's it's in the link down below. And remember this. We're not under the law, so we don't tithe. If you knew about tithing and the full extent of tithing and, it, and, and how involved the tithing structure was, let me tell you what, you, you'd, be, you'd be thankful that you live in the dispensation of grace where we're not under the law, where you don't have to do the tithing that, the, that, that Israel had to do. And all God loves today is a cheerful giver. Anyway, you have a fantastic day and we'll catch up again tomorrow. Till then, take care and... Maranatha. Maranatha, folks.